In this question, we're told three mathematically similar Russian dolls are shown below. The small one has a height of 3 cm and a surface area of 100 cm squared. The medium one has a surface area of 225 cm squared and a volume of 1350 cm cubed. The large one has a volume of 6250 cm cubed. We're asked to find one, the difference in the height of the large and medium dolls, and two, the difference in the volume of the small and medium dolls. What I like to do with any question like this is to build up now a chart. And what I'm going to do is put now the values in here. So I'm going to have the columns just here, and then I'll put the measurements in these. You certainly don't have to do this, but it might make your work slightly easier if you do. So let's first consider now the following. What we've got then in here is the measurements. So what I'm going to have is a height, which is going to be my length. I'm going to have an area, and I'm going to have a volume. I'm going to have now the small, so small, we're going to have the medium, and we're going to have the large. So I'm putting now the dolls in here. Now let's fill out this information. The small one has a height, which is L of 3. It has a surface area of 100. If we look at the medium one, that has a surface area of 225. It has a volume of 1350. The only information we got about now the large one is that it's got a volume of 6,250. So in the first one, we need to connect now the large and the medium dolls. So we're looking at now at their height. We don't yet have the height of the medium dolls. So what I'm going to do is work backwards and find the height of the medium doll, given that we've got the height of the small one. Let's first consider the area of these two right here. So if I look at an area scale factor, so the area scale factor, which I'll write just here, and this is between now the small and medium, we can see that that is going to be 225 divided by 100. So if I now do that, that's the area scale factor. Now that's going to give me on here, if I put this through a calculator, 225 divided by 100 will give us now the area scale factor of 9 over 4, or 2.25. So that's the area scale factor. So what we can say then is that that is going to be 2.25, or 9 over 4. So if I now consider the linear scale factor, the linear scale factor is going to be now the square root of that answer. So the square root of this answer is going to be 1.5, or we can say 3 over 2. So the linear scale factor between these two, the medium and the small, is 1.5. So we can start filling out this table from here. So if the linear scale factor is 1.5, 3 times by 1.5 will give me now that the height of the medium one is 4.5. So I now know that the height is going to be 4.5. Now if I wanted to work out the volume, all I would do is say that the volume scale factor from here, so the volume SF, will be 1.5 cubed. If we look at this, linear area volume. This is from the small to the medium. Linear is 1.5, so that's 1.5 to the power of 1. Area is 1.5 to the power of 2. Volume is 1.5 to the power of 3. So if I now divide 1350 by 1 1.5 cubed, I'll get this volume. So what we'll do is get the volume just here now. So I'm going to take my 1350, so 1350, and divide this now by 1.5 to the power of 3, and that will give me now the volume. So that's going to be 400. So what I've got now is 400. So that now answers the second part, the difference in the volume between the small and the medium dolls. We can find that just by doing these two. What we want is the difference in the height of the large and the medium dolls. So, what I'm looking for now is this height right here. The connection I have between the two is the large and the medium. And we can say that the volume scale factor, so the volume scale factor of now the large and the medium, is going to be as follows. We're going to get 6250 divided by 1350. So in a calculator, if we do that, we've got now 625, and I can do 625 over now 135. So 625 over 135, as those zeros will cancel. 
Okay, the volume scale factor now is 125 over 27. So volume scale factor, and this is now the medium and large, is going to be 125 over 27. To get now the linear scale factor, we need to go ahead and take the cube root. So the linear scale factor will be the cube root of that, and you might even spot that from there. Um, let's now take the cube root of the answer, and we will get now on here the 5 over 3. So what we've got then is 5 over 3. That now is the linear scale factor between the two. So all I need to do to get the height of the large one is do 4.5 multiplied by 5 over 3. So if I do that now, I'm going to get my answer 5, point, uh, 5 over 3 times by 4.5. That will give me that value. So that gives me now 7.5. So that's going to be 7.5. And I could have done that a whole host of different ways. So from here, we can see now that we'll start with first one, the difference in height between the large and the medium dolls. Well, we got 7.5 and we've got now 4.5. So we can say that that's three, okay? So the first question right here is going to be equal to now three, and that will be three centimeters. If we now consider the difference in the volume of the small and the medium, we've got this one just here, and that now links those two. So I've looked at this more holistically. You can split this up in many different ways. The way I've done it is just to get them all in relation to one another by looking at different uh, scale factors. Certainly don't have to take that approach, but you can do it if you want. So in the exam, show now, let's just make that a bit clearer, show how you're doing these. I'm simply now writing the answers here, but you'd need to show 7.5 and minus 4.5. So on this one, what we've got then for this one here, we're working at the volume between the small and the medium, 1350 minus 400, and that's going to be equal to 950, and that will be centimetres cubed. So there are two answers. You will need to show full workings, and that's one way round. Certainly not the only way, but it gives you an option to find all of these values.